Hello, um, welcome back and I thought I would do a little uh, video of an hour in Zion just so that you have an idea um, you can obviously skip forward, skip around the video or you can watch the whole video but my idea is that it will give you an idea as to what an hour in this game might look like okay now I I kind of feel like there's a lot of people interested in this game but I also feel that lots of people will not really take the plunge with this game um, because okay let's just get it into global chat because that's where everyone's talking usually in this game but yeah but because they don't really know exactly what um, this game is about or they don't understand the exact features then I feel a lot of people who maybe might play this game are not playing this game so I should have explained first I'm still trying to like collect things for my log walls I have quite a lot of log walls I'm trying to build up my tribal area here um, I actually have just moved my um, totem it used to be over on the other side through there but that side is reasonably built up um, so I thought that I would put my totem here and that I would add stuff into the walls you know that I would actually make another area and then because you see I have to skill up my architecture right now my architecture skill is not very high so I only know 17 out of 90, 90 schemes in architecture so I thought that after I'd finished with all these walls hopefully my architecture might be high enough so I can actually make a building or a tent or something in the other part of my tribal area so yeah right now I'm trying to sort out some of these walls as you can see I've been collecting some logs I've got what one two three four five six seven eight nine I've got ten there so that's enough for one piece of wall now have I been already adding any um, nails into any of these I don't think I have I think I ran out of nails so is there anything in my pack because I've literally just started the game I've got three aluminium nails okay now I don't think if I remember rightly I, I don't think I was able to um, get any more so okay so I'm gonna go and pick up some nails first now you can actually do something where you are uh, um, where you take like um, metal from the scrap heap so it will come up as a resource and, and you can just take it out straight like that and then you can sort that and you might get nails but for some reason I find that scavenging for nails is a lot lot more efficient a lot better yeah so I will show you exactly what I mean I go into the resources tab here I'll bring it up there and you can see right now I've got scrap cloth and I've got scrap leather now because I'm trying to find some nails I want to find an area where there it's metal you see there there is metal if I right click on that it will pick up a bunch of metal one like what's the word bale of excuse me oh, of metal now it's on my back now what you would do is you would take that back to your tribal area or you could do it here so I can then right click on it oh I pressed the wrong button ha 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 so you can right click on it while it's on your back and you can sort it out so I right click I go to sort and it's now sorting it out <clears throat> I do again I right click I go to sort I actually changed the sound in this game because the beginning the music in this game is really good but at the beginning for some reason it seems very loud is it on still let's see let's see Let's see, someone is sending me a message on Steam. Okay. Ah, so now the um, the actual 
Um, music in the game is now off, so the game sound is actually okay right now, I think, so that's fine. Okay, so... I will show you in my pack. You can see I have a, a bin on my back. So I only got... What did I get? I think I got one iron a nail. That was it. Only one. Now, if I show you now, by doing the scavenging option you're much more likely to um, actually find a, a group of nails, like a bunch of nails. So it appears that, that it's a lot more efficient. Now I'm actually using this thing here, the scavenging option here at the bottom, at number two. So I'm just basically scavenging on a scrap pile and it will basically pick up random things. At the moment it's saying you can't find anything useful here, so I need to keep on doing this. Oh, and I've recently scavenged that area, so I can't do it again. Hmm. I can't find anything useful, so I'm just going to go around scavenging until I find something. Now at the moment I'm actually out of my tribal area, so if someone was to see me now, they could actually kill me. Um, yeah, but where I am at the moment, there aren't a lot of players up here. I mean, there aren't really a lot of players in the game at the moment anyway, because the game is in its very early stage, and I feel a lot of players have left and are waiting for the game to improve enough before they come back. But also because I'm up in the mountains, okay, then there aren't a lot of players up here. It just said I uncovered something useful. So I've uncovered lots of other stuff that I don't need. That's okay. I'm willing to accept that. Because I just want to try and get some nails. So I'm going to keep doing this. This is one of the things like... You could say that this game is kind of a little bit grindy. I mean... It's kind of like... If you're interested in crafting and kind of a slightly realistic kind of take on it you know and if you are kind of willing to put up with a little bit of grindiness whoa I must have found something really heavy look I'm so encumbered there's actually a thing up here for encumbrance up here and it's absolutely maxed out so I must have just picked up something very heavy six steel large metal blocks mm, that is quite a lot of stuff isn't it yes that is but I have an idea I have a crazy idea I'm gonna show you I have an idea I see that other people and I just had to get rid of that I see other people basically are putting <coughs> their own bins, grass bins, um, near the scrap pile. Now that's an interesting idea because what I could do is I could kind of do that and then I could actually have uh, my own bins that no one else can access. So I could kind of sort stuff out here rather than all the way up there. Um, where my tribal areas. Now the only issue is they're going to add a feature where rain and the weather will actually affect your stuff and it will actually deteriorate your stuff, you know. Right, now I have this idea here. I'm going to try and make logs to make a little area. So yeah, but I'm kind of willing to put up with that because I'm pretty sure that it will degrade slowly or there'll be a way of me seeing when it is degraded. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because it's not very precise. Oh, that was lucky. There you go. So I think I might be able to make a little area here for myself now out of logs. It's, obviously, it's an area that other people can affect, which is fine. It's not in my tribal area. I can accept that. Unable to place objects. There you go. So I've kind of got a little... I can kind of make a little area here, can't I? Interesting. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. 
you have to also realize that the game server for this game is in America. I live in Hong Kong, so it's quite far away from where I am. I said at the beginning this is going to be an hour. I don't think it will be an hour, actually. Probably more like, I don't know, 45 minutes. Something like that. 40 minutes. Just a period of time. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Just a period of time where you can kind of see, get an idea of what the game's like. Okay, this is just really for my benefit to help me to know. Now, for me to make a grass basket, what do I need? Let me see. I need a weaver and a lasher, which I know I won't have. So first, I need to go back to my tribal area, pick up a weaver and a lasher, because I'm pretty sure I won't have that stuff. I might actually have a couple of spare bins. My idea is I can have some bins here and then when I find heavy stuff I can actually put it into the bins there. I mean actually it doesn't have to be sorted, just anything heavy I can put in there and then I can actually come back and try to pick it up at a later date if I need it, you know what I mean? So that might be something I could do, maybe. So I'm pretty sure in my old tribal area well, it, you know, in the area that I, that I um, started, the first area, pretty sure I had some. Pretty sure I had some spare baskets. I only have one. Well, you know what? I'll just have one right now. I don't need that many. And I have some of these. Should I. I think I put a load of things in here as well. Yeah, look, I've got loads of these little baskets in here. So I'll just have a couple of these for now, I don't need that many, just like I say, if I ever have anything heavy, you know, or, you know, I can stick it in there, don't need to keep on coming back to my tribal area, that might be a good idea. Cool. One of the things that's awesome in this game is this game, everything in this game is made by the players, so like all of the paths here are player made. Everything is player made. Obviously the the natural environment is obviously the only thing that the developers have made. Everything else, you know, is up to us, up to the players to make. So that is kind of something which is really cool. So that's again why I said that crafters will really like this game. I think in the future when there's more players in the game and when combat has been improved a little bit in this game. You know, I think that the players oh, oh, hang on. I think that players who are interested in PvP might start to show more of an interest in the game, you know. But right now it's not really a PvP centered game just because there aren't a lot of players in the game really right now and also the combat is improving but it's not great. As you will see if I was to come across a mutant. Right, let's see then. So, let's carry on with the scavenging now and at least if I pick up anything heavy now I can try and take it back. I uncovered something useful. 24 quarters. Oh. <clears throat> you can actually pick up lots of interesting scrap and they say that you can basically choose what your tribe uses as its currency. So for example, you could have like the coins or something as currency for your tribe. But to be honest, I don't really understand how that works really. Surely if every tribe has got its own currency, isn't that going to be really confusing and it's not going to have much value, if you know what I mean? Surely it needs to be a central you know, a central currency, I thought, for it to really work. I don't know. Or at least a large area. If you had a tribe that had a large area, maybe. But if every tribe in the game had a different currency, how would that work? Oh dear, it's raining. Okay then. I, oh, I uncovered something useful again. Cool. Let's have a look. Still trying to pick up some stuff here. 
haven't picked up anything too heavy, which is good. <clears throat> I'm kind of finding that I I have to really kind of do the the log walls kind of um, you know I have to first go and collect the logs, then I have to go and collect the the nails. I can't really do it all at once. Wow, there you go. I just have got now 46 iron nails. Now that just basically shows you what I was trying to explain earlier that scavenging for some reason scavenging for nails is much much faster than scavenging uh, than sorting it out like I did first with the, uh, the the bundles of metal you know so because if, if you think every section I have of log wall needs to be it needs to have 40 nails, 40, so it's quite a lot. So yeah, that was kind of why I was saying that the process of making all of the walls, I have to do it by bit by bit. First of all, I go and find some nails, then I find some logs, then I find more nails, then I find more logs, you know what I mean? Like, I can't really do it all in one big go. And I think as well, generally in this game, I would say that that's a good way of working to actually like not just um, try and do everything in one go you have to gradually kind of set daily targets piece by piece you know if that makes any sense right someone has left a basket here I don't think I'll be able to access it no so I don't have the permission so I can't access that Occasionally, I always check that because occasionally there is someone who will accidentally or on purpose, who knows, actually set it open so then I can actually take out anything. And if you do start this game, one thing I would recommend because there's quite a lot of tribes that are just hanging around that used to be fairly active in the game but at the moment are waiting for more content and all that, what I would do first of all is is have a walk around the game world firstly so you can find where it's good for you to have your home instead but also so that you can try to go into people's homesteads and find, you know see if you can open any of the bins and see if you can actually pick up anything that you could use I tried that a few months ago and I really I picked up a lot of stuff you know I got a lot of tools and things that at the beginning of the game are really hard to craft, you know. Right, so I got 46 nails, I'll put those there. I got 59 screws. I got some other screws of different material. I got an old pipe. I got 16 dollar bills, 24 quarters, 3 aluminium nails which I had before, 6 short plastic studs, 12 leather book bindings which for some reason is something I find a lot. Yep, innards of an animal that I I killed before but I'm just basically going to use these baskets here just to take the stuff out as I go. You know, it kind of gives me somewhere to store. Now I need to, because this is a new basket, I want to make sure... Ah, now this is interesting. I believe this basket I can't actually set the permissions which is very interesting is this because it's a basket that I didn't make that's a cool interesting anyway usually if you right click on a basket it comes up with permissions then you can actually set who you would like to set the permissions for so yeah at the moment I'm gonna set all my permissions to friends so that any of my friends in the game can pick stuff up. Okay. But for some reason this basket here is um, not... I can't set a permission. Okay, 
at the moment I'm, I'm fine with that but at some point I'm gonna have to find or make another one another basket which I'm able to set the permissions because obviously if, if I was to get a um, if I was to Sorry about that. That is kind of what happens if you do a live video for 40 minutes or whatever. That was, that was my girlfriend trying to call me. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so at some point I'll have to make another video. Make another video. That has thrown me off, isn't it? That phone call. Um, yeah, I'll have to make another basket where I can actually set the permissions because I don't want anyone just coming along and stealing stuff that I have found. At the moment it's not a big deal, because like I said earlier, at the moment there's not a lot of players up in this area, because I'm up in the mountains. Um, and yeah, I just want to, as long as I make sure that I take out all of the nails that I, I found, I think that's kind of the most important thing really. Okay, let's keep going down here. Okay, scavenge again. Oh, and I've just uncovered another thing which is really heavy. Now, I can show you about, while I'm slowly walking about, I can show you about my skills. Basically, you have skills that that you level up as you use them. It's quite interesting how I'm I'm not really a combat or orientated character, but ever since about a month ago, they added in mutant animals into the game and the mutant animals they attack me so I obviously have to try to kill them now since they've introduced those my combat skills have gone up a lot because it, it's forced me into fighting you can see that my unarmed and my and my axes are 26 and 28 but yeah usually as you use a skill it will level up so uh, my scavenging is now at 47 so as I as I get a higher skill, I will find more things, I'll find better things, and so on. Right, for now, I'm going to start to put stuff in here. Because these are the ones we, that have, have the permissions. Now, I just picked up 67 screws in one go there. You see that? That's why, like I said, scavenging is much more efficient than, uh, yeah and try to do it the other way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Oh, I just uncovered something useful. Nine more screws. Wow, there seems to be a lot of screws in here for some reason. Let's put it in here. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the other stuff here because I don't need it right now. I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to pick up the screws because I have uh, the screws. I'm going to pick up the nails, not the screws. <laughs> I'm going to open my backpack. This is my backpack thing. I'm going to transfer the 46 iron nails here because then I can make another wall. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to make a wall. <clears throat> now, my girlfriend just phoned me and said she's, she's on her way home from work. So this video might not be anywhere near an hour like I first thought it was going to be. It might only be like 30, 40 minutes. But anyway, I reckon I'll be able to make this a wall, one of the log walls. So I, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to choose. Now, at the moment, I'm going to choose one of the walls that is not finished that's near where my logs are so I suppose this one here is okay right so let's right click and open it I need to open my basket I need to right click on the eye nails they are then in in the project in the wall so then I need to get 10 of these logs so I have got 10 of this one this one is a long 
Douglas fur log, and I've got enough of those to be able to stick all of those into the wall because you have to use the same type species of tree for some reason. So there you go, I'm going to put the first one in. So I need to do this for 10 of these. Yeah, so I think obviously at the moment I am not going to do this kind of thing, this kind of video every day at the moment because it would be, you know, very, 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 very similar every day. But I think that what I, I am going to do is when the game, uh, when I have finished all of the log walls, which will be in about a week or so, uh, I will then show you another video where I'm, I'm doing other things. So I will do another hour, 40 minutes in the game where I'll be doing other things. I think I'm about halfway through making these log walls. <clears throat> And then, yeah, hopefully, like I was saying earlier, my architecture will be up to a good enough level after all of these walls that I'll be able to actually make a building or something. Something a bit more interesting, but I'm not sure. Architecture in this game seems to be quite slow to skill up. Of course, if you have any questions about the game, you can ask me in the chat, and I'll try to answer. I think that this game, there's a lot of people who are interested in this game, but they have a lot of questions to ask, and they're not sure, you know, how it's going to work. And also, if anyone is interested in joining my tribe, I used to have like five in, in my tribe, but now it's only me. The other, the other players have left. If anyone is interested in joining, you can either send me a message, um, a personal message, or if you leave a message on my on this on this video, because I'm always looking for people who can help me. Because I have a live stream as well, I live stream uh, on Twitch TV, so it's Twitch TV slash WazCool, so I live stream on there, I also have a mumble server that I use to talk in games that I play while I'm streaming, so you'll be able to, if you join in my tribe, when I'm playing this game, I'll be able to talk to you on my mumble server, but well, that's a completely other story yeah okay so hammer I need to right click on the hammer so I've as you can see I've actually put everything into into the project that I need the 10 logs the 40 nails and it also needs a saw and a hammer for me to finish it so I already right clicked on the hammer in my backpack I'm gonna right click on the saw and I click on, on build so I'm going to try to build this as you can see, there you go, so now it's finished. Okay, so basically when a wall is slightly transparent and I can walk through it, obviously that means it's not yet finished, but when they're finished it looks like a solid wall. I've got a bit of a gap there, but never mind, I, I don't think anything can actually get through there. <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to go up onto this hill to show you that I think I've done about half of, of the walls. So if you give me about a week or so, I'll finish up all of the walls. And then the next thing after that, I will then do another video of like an hour of gameplay. And you'll be able to see other things in the game that I'll be doing. But yeah, I think I've done about half of the new area over here. And it's looking kind of cool. I'm kind of liking it. It's getting kind of bigger, and it's really nice. I like it. Mm, yeah. So anyway, I apologise if this video is slightly shorter than I than I'd first thought, but um, hopefully I, I've given you a glimpse into this game because that was really the main 
idea just to kind of give you a glimpse as to what happens in this game and like I said when I do other videos you will be able to see gradually other mechanics in the game. Anyway thanks for watching I hope that you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time.